Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel, it is Nikki here. So today I have a really different video for you. It is on facial hair removal. I didn't decide to do it on all hair removal, just facial hair removal. That is probably because I get a lot of questions on how do I keep my skin so clear or smooth or how does the makeup go on so airbrush looking. And you guys ask me this all the time and I feel like it's a lot to do with my removal of facial hair. No, by no means does this mean that you guys need to go out and do this but I just feel like it does make my skin look a little bit more glowy and I feel like it does make my makeup go on a lot smoother I do notice that so I actually went to the salon and my dad agreed to film the process which is a little bit weird um, so I filmed myself in the salon and show you guys exactly what I get done um, from here up and then I also show you a little bit as to how you could do it yourself at home if you don't want to go out to a salon where you couldn't afford it because it can be a little bit pricey or you just wanted to do it on your own so I've just showed you guys how you can do it on your own at home and how I kind of do the upkeep if I can't go to the salon to get any hair removal done so I hope you guys do enjoy this video sit back relax get a cup of tea because it might be a long one Okay, so let's jump straight in. So I actually go to a salon called Angel of Leicester. Now it's based in my hometown, Leicester. And as you can see, it's just on the corner of like just kind of like a normal street and it's always got really really good deals on it's quite a gem in Leicester you have a lot of these places that are like houses converted into salons where they do waxing and they do threading so I'll walk in and I'm usually waiting because it's just a walk in no appointments I like to get there early in the morning and I'm kind of just on Instagram or whatever just whilst I'm waiting then when I get seated I will let the person know exactly what I want. I go there so much that they kind of know what I want anyway and she'll pop a headband on me to start off with just to remove all of the hair and get it all off my face and then put a towel around my neck as well. Then they start just by, I think it's talcum powder that they put on the skin, I think it just absorbs excess oil and I always go for hot wax. In this case, this is Angel of Leicester's own chocolate wax that they use. I go for this because I feel like it is a little bit more sensitive, even though my skin isn't sensitive. Um, it doesn't take out as much hair, but it is a lot softer on the skin, I feel. So then they apply it with a lollipop stick just onto the skin, and then she'll rub it to make sure that it's cold, and then she'll lift it up and tear off, and then she pops her hand over it, and this really soothes the pain. Now, we'll just keep going, and she'll do it in small sections all around the face, and I get everything done. So I get everything on my face done, including my nose, my upper lip, my cheeks, everything. Now, you guys ask me all the time, does this hurt? Yes, it does hurt. I feel like my pain threshold is quite high now um, because I'm a little bit used to it and it doesn't last for that long. So she's gonna go ahead and she's gonna pop this on my forehead as well. And then she'll ask you what kind of hairline do you want? Do you want natural or do you want it completely clean? I always go for natural, which means that you can see some of the baby hairs still. The most painful part, guys, I would say is the upper lip. You can see the pain here. It really does hurt and I hate, absolutely hate getting my upper lip done. My forehead actually feels quite relaxing. So they'll go ahead and usually there's two people so she'll pass the lollipop stick to the other person so it makes the process just that little bit quicker and here you can see it looks quite therapeutic you can see the wax going onto the skin and she builds it up to quite a thick layer and then will pull it off as soon as it is dry. Then I guess to remove the excess of this wax, they just use a strip with some wax on it and they just kind of pull off all the excess little bits of wax that are left over. Then they actually go into threading. So if you guys have ever had your face waxed, they'll thread your face as well. And this is, I feel like I'm getting a bargain here because they're gonna thread the whole of my face. They're gonna do my eyebrows to start off with and then she'll whack her way around the whole of my face. And it's amazing because they use a thread just to remove any of the hair and I love how she pulls up my forehead here as well the skin needs to be taut for you to grab any of the hair and I'm going to show you guys later on in this video how you can do this at home on on yourself actually and it's quite quick and very easy as well so I'll get my 
whole face threaded she'll go around now the whole process would i would say would take about 40 minutes just to make sure that all the hair removal is done properly and then she'll brush away any of the hair strands that are on my face then we're going to do the back of my neck so they're going to readjust the headband to get rid of any hair and we're just going to go with the normal wax which is the strip wax i believe and i get the back of my neck done now, i've only recently started doing this but actually it makes such a big difference for me when i have my hair up in a high pose and I just like it you can see here how clean it is and how much hair she has actually taken off and I just really like the look of it now after everything is taken off I get a really nice massage and I get some oils put onto the skin just to get rid of the stickiness and to really really soothe the skin which is always nice so now that my skin is looking pretty fresh, I haven't got anything other than moisturiser on it here and you can see how glowy it is, I really do feel like it does look a lot more glowy. So to do your own threading at home, you're going to obviously need some thread. Try and get some heavy duty thread as well. And we're going to take uh, quite a bit of this to create a loop like this and then you want to go ahead and just tie the ends together, just make sure that it is a really secure knot. Now you're going to have a full string loop, which is what I like to call it, and you, you should be able to pull it quite taut. Then what you want to go ahead and do is you want to twist around, I always do it with my right hand, and you want to twist the thread round just like I'm doing about 10 to 11 times. You're going to create that twist right in the centre there. Now that twist that you can see is the twist that is going to actually pull out all of your facial hair. So by doing, like pulling out one hand, it's so hard to explain, but by pulling out one hand, you can see the twist move. And that is obviously whichever direction of the hair growth is going, that's gonna pull out the hair. Now I'm just gonna show you guys a couple of clips of me threading. So I put my tongue into where my upper lip area is. And then I'm just using my right hand to open and close. And that's gonna actually, I know I'm doing it quite fast, but it's gonna pull out the hair and the twist part and then I can do my forehead like this as well and you can also do your cheeks you can do everywhere on your face you just want to make sure that you're going in the opposite direction of the hair growth now if threading isn't for you or you find it a little bit difficult there is actually another solution there is this twisty thing now I don't actually know the exact name for it um, but you can find it I bought mine for two pound off eBay and it works exactly the same so it's kind of like a wire a coiled wire and when you twist the coil wire with the handles that's what's going to pull out the hair so in slow motion here you can see it pulling out my hair it really hurts actually you can see it pulling out of my pulling out my hair on my upper lip area the only downside to this is it's kind of tricky to get into some areas that you know thread would easily get into because it is a little bit chunkier but it works more or less exactly the same. It is trial or error but I do like this gadget too. Now if all else fails you can always use your tw trusty tweezers. I love tweezer man specifically just because they are so sharp and I like to do this to my eyebrows especially just with the stray ones that you know are coming out but you haven't got time to go to the salon or you just want the upkeep to stay the same and I like to just do it mainly to my eyebrows to the center and I also like to get them whiskers if you guys get facial hair removal then you know that you're gonna your whiskers are gonna come out first but I like to get them too now I just wanted to show you guys Indian girl problems my right hand nails are yellow because I eat too much curry it's so annoying they always stain my nails then lastly I'm gonna be using this Aveen thermal spring water spray and I'm gonna spray it all over the skin I always do this when I have a wax when I get home or when I do threading at home myself just to cool down the skin and once it's cool that is it guys that is my facial hair removal and how i do it how i get it done and how i do it at home as well and how i keep my skin look looking fresh and glowy i hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial make sure that you subscribe to my channel